Alrighty. Now we gotta locate the rest of the helmet doors. How many more are there, I wonder? Okay, it's time to, uh... It's time to prepare ourselves, because we're about to face something mighty big. Always sure to pack plenty of ammo and health for a big battle. And, <laughs> yep, I grabbed a self-defense gun. I'm definitely going to be using that thing in self-defense. <laughs> Gotta defend ourselves, right? Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> Boss battles or big battles always can make one nervous sometimes. Like, if you know it's always going to be a really tough battle. Yeah, bosses, well, like, tough bosses will always be kind of like not my cup of tea. I don't know why, I just don't care for it 100%. But, like, once it's done, it's done, you know? It's like, yeah, you're done. <laughs> like, I can think of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption's final boss. If that was ever a, what we call a worryment, is my bro word for it, it would be that final boss. Man, that guy was so horrible. I don't want to do it again. And, I mean, of course, he made it look easy, but beating that thing on hyper, hyper mode, oh my god, I, <laughs> I kept trying for oh, a few times, like, and within, like, three or four days, I finally was able to do it. God, it's like, once it's over, it's like, the worryment's over, you don't have to worry about it anymore. I mean, I know you're not supposed to worry about video games, but it's just... Man, it's so serious sometimes. And yeah, there's a door back here. We never actually went back that way. And now we're in a very creepy looking attic. Get my self defense gun ready. Oh! What? Boom! You like that? This time, I'm finally going to get rid of you. And no matter what you did, he's always going to come back for this battle. So, now's when you can get proper revenge on Richard. Richard's in there somewhere. Well, he probably isn't by now. Oh my. Oh man, that hurt. Damn it. Ugh. Shit. Oh my. Just gotta keep moving around here and avoid his freaking things of- Oh, what? Okay, I was hit by the fucking air. I know I was. Jesus Christ, die! Oh my god! Power of the self-defense gun right there. Yep, Snake's finally been defeated. And he shook loose some object back there. That was probably impossible to see otherwise. Yeah, I about had it there. Fortunately, I wasn't poisoned. I don't... Yeah, he can definitely poison you, I think. Okay, and I assume that was the double doors that I didn't know how to open... That I couldn't open. Because we're... That was up the, towards the uh, upper floor, too, as well as this. And there's another book. And let's see what's in this one. I wonder... Yep, another medal, and it's silver, and it's a depiction of a wolf. Okay, we got a medal of eagle and a medal of wolf, so what the hell do we do with these? Hey, well, that's one freaking big battle over and done with. That thing's not coming back. Yeah, I always use my self-defense gun there. I just think it's useful. It's hard to fight that thing with just the assault shotgun alone. Because he can rip you up. Alright, now... We got... Let's see here. So, so far, the main items we collected was... The Medal of Eagle... The Battery... The Medal of Wolf... We, we collected some gemstones, and we're going to make use of those and see where they can get us. 
And apparently there's still one more helmet door. One or two, or who knows how many. I mean, we gotta be running out of doors in this mansion unless there's some previously an accessible freaking floor. And there are more freaking doors up there. Um, on the uh, original Resident Evil, that snake boss was where it originally was, but then you enter like a room with a fireplace, and like a, it's like a fiery snake comes out of it. It's like a little bit different. It's it was in the room where those walls were gonna close in on you from pressing that switch. Yeah, that room never exists existed on the original. All right, we're gonna grab the yellow gemstone. And we're gonna place that thing in the tiger statue. And hope no hunters are gonna appear to rip us to pieces. Seems so alone now. And did all the zombies disappear? I don't think I got rid of that guy. I'm guessing, like, the hunters may have destroyed them or something or I don't know that's kind of a mystery to me oh god new area oh, well I mean like could be a new area for hunters <laughs> and speaking of the hunter where did it exactly come from it looks like it came from that area where the waterfall was. But where? Like, come out of the bushes or. There's a fountain there. Did it, it couldn't possibly have jumped out of the freaking fountain. Probably came from this freaking laboratory or something. Oh, yeah, there's Kenneth. I still have your videotape. But I can't watch it and no. There's just no way. How do I watch a fucking videotape? Alright, that hallway right there, I remember coming from the kitchen one time, and then you go down the hall, and a hunter, like, appeared really suddenly, it didn't make a noise, and it didn't even, like, it was so big, it, like, completely blocked the entire camera almost, that scared the literal shit out of us, because it just suddenly just sidestepped silently, I, I, we didn't even expect it, we didn't know where it came from at all. Oh, a tiger with yellow and blue light. We've solved it. Ooh, what's that? M.O. disc? Uh... I didn't see any computers around here. Seems more of like a laboratory kind of thing. I'm guessing we're getting close to that. But where? Maybe behind one of these helmet doors. Yeah, it's a rebooting a system. Yeah, I definitely don't know where to use that. I didn't see any real high-tech equipment at all anywhere in this game. This mansion's pretty old-fashioned. Here, this music playing right now, it's very, very terrifying. And now you're going to be able to hear the whole piece. Isn't that terrifying? Oh my god. Holy crap. Thank goodness there's no enemies like ever out here besides the hellhounds that'll break through that door. If you try to open it, well, they don't break through it. But Okay, yeah, this door. I remember this. Oh, we used it. Yes, we can discard the key. And this is the final helmet door, so where is this going to lead? Oh, I see you. I see a tube full of internal organs there. Maybe we're close to the lab. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. And that is 
how you first find out about that secret door, but you can't get in there until after you finish the game. And it's just for, like, secret costumes, and this is a very creepy looking room. And yeah, you can view all of the files that you got throughout the game and see if you found them all in all the different sections. You can always consult every single file that you have found. So that's always a nice little thing. Yeah, well, this is a very sad place. But yeah, man, it's like... Things are so scary in this game, it just gives you some crazy, terrifying feeling. And it's things like that you'll never forget, and what makes this game so freaking memorable. I love it. Always will. Get the fuck out! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Love that. Alright, what is that thing on that shelf? Gotta be something of great importance. Oh, one of those jewelry boxes. Been a while since I found one of those. Okay, so I will tell you all that you put the red gemstone in that box, and then you have to solve a puzzle to get uh, an essential item inside that box, but we're not going to do it yet. Because if you try putting that red gemstone in the tiger, it would make a shitload of snakes fall down, and you most likely would get poisoned. So that pretty much is telling you it's a trap. <laughs> and you're not supposed to use that gemstone. You might not think... Like, maybe you might be like, oh man, maybe the other gemstone might do that, but... Nah, you can... That's the other one is for the MO disc. And that's kind of an unknown item as well of some other ones that we have right now. So... We have two medals, a battery, and we have a jewelry box. And we have a red gemstone that goes with it. Now it's time to, once again, leave the mansion. I'm not talking about going out here, I'm talking about going way out, like we were when we went to the courtyard, went out to the residence. Time to go out there again and see if we can find something new. Now that we have acquired some of these items, we can get somewhere new. Duh. <laughs> Any hunter? Ooh. Oh, no, a big... Fat freaking crow, though. Crows are huge. You ever actually see them? Man, they are gigantic birds. Freaking could peck your eyes out or something. Yeah, you're the one that first came in. And where did you come from? Oh, God. Die. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Killed it. Alright, we gotta prepare ourselves to get to a new area, because we have all the necessary items needed. And actually, in fact, you only need one item to actually get to the next area. But I won't reveal what that is yet. Because I like keeping some secrets sometimes, because it's fun. It's all in good fun. Good fun mostly for me, I guess. I'm, unless you don't like being waited in suspense. Or do. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to put the jewelry box away. And the red gemstone, we will make use of those items later. And we're going to grab the battery. Cat's out of the bag, I guess. And we're out of the item box. <laughs> and we're going to grab the crank. I think you're all probably going to figure out easily what we're supposed to do next. Well, at least maybe one half of the items that I picked up. Alright, next time we will enter a brand new area. I will see you guys later.